All right, what is up, Utah fans? This is Joseph back with the Utah Utes Football Digest, and I am excited to be back making videos with you guys. I am sorry uh, about the delay here. Just had a daughter uh, about a month and a half ago, so that's one reason. But also, dude, I, I did need the break, and and you know, it's I'm excited to be in a position where there is exciting info and topics to make content on. So I'm excited to be back with you guys. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the tight end room for Utah football heading into the spring game. Uh, throughout the coming weeks, we're going to be talking about all the different position groups headed into the spring game. Who are the star players? Do, do we have any, uh, you know, a few position groups have no stars. When I say a star, I'm talking about a big time impact player. Who are the star players in that position group? Who are the almost guaranteed starters then who are the possible starters guys fighting for that spot guys fighting with a couple other guys for that third or fourth spot at a position you, you kind of know what i'm talking about um and then we got our solid depth solid depth is going to be uh players that are solid backup so if they did need to see some time time playing you wouldn't be distraught you wouldn't be completely underwhelmed by their performance we're deep depth borderline concerning if they did have to come in obviously some of the deep depth guys we're not going to know until they hit the field we have no idea what their talent is but in general based on what we're hearing based on how much experience they've had playing in the past would we actually want this person to see the field so it should be a ton of fun guys i'm excited to dive in make sure you guys like the video also comment down below do you agree with the players i have as stars starters potential starters solid depth that deep depth do you think it should be arranged in a different way? I'd love to hear your opinions. And uh, I'm also going to, as, as we go through it, I'm going to give my thoughts on the position group as a whole. And I want to hear uh, what you think. I know there's going to be some controversial ones. I've already kind of broken down the data. And I know a lot of you guys might not agree with me on all this, but I, I'm excited to talk about it either way. Uh, also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, like I said, over the next coming weeks, there's going to be a lot of content coming out. So make sure you're around. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you guys can be up to date as we head into the spring game and know exactly who and what to look for. Let's dive in. Let's talk about the Utah football tight end room. All right, guys, and here we go. We're starting with the tight ends. As you can see on your screen, we have Spencer Clegg. Uh, Spencer Clegg is a red shirt freshman out of uh, American Fork, Utah, not too far from my house. Uh, Spencer Clegg is going to be a deep depth guy, a guy that has not seen the field yet, still very young. And the other thing is not a ton of hype about him coming out, not saying he sucks, but he is a guy where if we did get that far on the depth chart where we needed Spencer to see quite a bit of time, that would not be a great thing. So he's going to be in the deep depth category. Uh, hopefully he's improving and becoming a, be a, a good player. Next, we got the guy we are all super, super excited to have back. Brent Keithy, the man, you know, has been on the Utah football team uh, nearly as long as I've lived in Utah. He is an awesome player, uh, kind of a tight end wide receiver hybrid, but you can see he's a huge guy, 6'2", 236, a guy that I'm going to label as a star. Brent Keithy is a star player and clearly one of the best players on this Utah football team. Um, like I said, a tight end wide receiver hybrid, a guy that's going to get a lot of motions, a lot of get moved around a lot, a guy that I'm very, very excited to have back this year. And I would expect to be an immediate playmaker, an immediate difference maker for the Utah football team right out the gate. Next, we got Luke Tucker at a Highland, Utah, local kid out of Lone Peak. Um, another deep depth guy, 6'5", 227, not saying he won't become anything, but let's be real. If he's seeing the field, we're probably not going to be too thrilled unless it's because he, he just is that damn good. Um, uh, no offense to, to Luke or anything, just a, a guy deep depth. So then we got Landon King. Landon King is not a star, but he will be a starter for this Utah football team. Uh, Utah football thrives on a three tight end set. And having Landon King last year really coming on towards the end of the year was super exciting because heading into this year, you're expecting big things from him. He's a guy that I'm expecting to be a very heavy receiving threat, uh, similar to maybe a Dalton Kincaid role in the past. Obviously, I'm not comparing him to Dalton Kincaid, but I do think they'll try to get him in that role where he is a big time playmaker at, at, as a receiving tight end. So that's Landon King. 
Then we got Miki Sugataraga. Miki Sugataraga is a guy that saw, you know, quite a bit of playing time last year in a very depleted tight end room for Utah. Uh, M- Mickey was not super good. He had some flashes here and there, but not super good. I would say he's solid depth though. With as much time as he got starting last year, I'm going to say he will be solid depth for this Utah team and be a guy where, you know, eventually let's be honest, um, injuries happen. And, and at some point during the season, not that any of us are wishing this, but one of Brant Keithy, Carson Ryan, or Landon King will probably miss a game or two at some point. Hopefully not often and hopefully not at all, but let's be real. If Mickey Sugataraga is going in there to spot fill for a game, that's fine. That He's not a terrible player. He's a solid depth player, and that's what we're looking for from him. Uh, Frankie Goodson, another uh, guy that's going to be deep depth, right? A guy that hasn't seen the field for Utah, not a ton of hype around the guy. Uh, not bashing the guy, just being honest about it. And and hopefully um, he is a guy that can, you know, uh, improve over time, but not a guy we'd like really to see the field. We got Carson Ryan here as well. Carson Ryan is a big time playmaker, guys. Uh, some of you might be a little underwhelmed with Carson Ryan coming out. He's the transfer from UCLA when you look at his stats. But don't forget, guys, that was a lot of offense and how they were running the scheme. Carson Ryan is a guy that has had a ton of snaps and was one of the highest graded PFF tight ends in all of college football last year and a very good grade the year before. The kid is a stud and he is going to come into this uh, Utah tight end room and be a stud. Now, I do know that there were some uh, clips and pictures of him wearing a boot. That could be not a great sign. I'm not saying it is or it isn't. I'm just being honest. There is that. Could we see him possibly miss a few games to start the year? Hopefully not. I think he's one of the best players on this team. He is a star. Like I said, we're grouping players by star, starter, you know, potential starter, solid depth, whatever. He is a star. He's a guy that we're going to want to see the field and want to be a big role player in this offense. So hopefully there's no problems with the injury. Um, but really excited for Carson Ryan. Now, here's another guy I'm very excited about, C.J. Jacobson. C.J. Jacobson, six foot four, 235 pounds. It's his second year on the team. Uh, C.J. Jacobson actually had a good amount of hype coming out of Idaho, a guy that I was pretty excited about and was shocked to see him not get in at all last year. But he is where I'm going to put him as solid depth. If he if he comes out and sees the field a little, I think with all the hype he had, plus a year of experience under his belt, I think it's pretty exciting to see what he what his potential is. A guy that I'm going to put in that solid depth group. Colby Howard, another guy, um, a freshman, not a lot of hype around him, 6'2", 242, uh, number 87. I'm going to put him as deep depth. Not a guy you'd want to see the field much, but hopefully he's improving and getting better. Uh, Dallin Bentley, 6'4", 258, big boy. This is probably our biggest tight end so far. Uh, actually is our biggest tight end so far. A really a uh, player that I, in my circles, a lot of people have been hyped about and talk about how he could be a really good player. So I'm going to put him in the solid depth category as well. A guy that I'm, I'm excited to see and excited to see what he can do. So that's Dallin Bentley. Uh, and that's the whole tight end room, guys. Great group. Good group of guys and probably up there is one of the strongest position groups on this Utah football team. All right, guys. And that was the Utah tight end room. Like I mentioned, probably one of the, if not the deepest position group at Utah Utah this year. Not only do we have three, two like star players at tight end, we have a third in Landon King, who's a bona fide starter, a guy that I think we're all expecting a potential breakout season from. Um, and then the, there's two or three guys that are solid depth backups that you, you would not be upset at all to see them come in in Mickey Sugaturaga, Dallin Bentley and CJ Jacobson. I think it's a great position group. And I think it's one that we should be excited to see put up that in that 1500 plus yards total as a group. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised at all, especially with how much we know, uh, wham, bam. Thank you. Cam likes to use them. So super exciting guys. It's the Utah tight end room. Uh, before we get out of here, please make sure you guys like the video. Also comment below. What did you guys think about this Utah tight end room? Did you agree with who I had as stars, starters, potential starters, 
you know, there were no potential starters in this group, but solid depth, the deep depth, all that. I would love to know. Maybe there's, there's info I don't have on some guys that you'd like to share with me. Feel free. Outside of that, I'm out of here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want the videos in the coming days and go Utes.